Okay, my second method for finding the rafters, other than having a rubber mallet and tapping on the roof, is to invest in one of these. This is the Bosch um, Wall Scanner Detect 150. One of its nice features is it actually has a, um, a concrete deep scan mode. It has a nice screen. So with the, with the rubber mallet, you can get an approximate spot of where the actual rafter is at, but it doesn't give you the level of detail, the exact, because you want to go into as close to the center of a rafter as possible. With a rubber mallet, you're not going to get that. But with this tool, what you can get is an exact idea. It has a nice screen and it kind of tells you where the... Uh, exact center of a rafter and it'll actually draw it for you which is a really nice feature so i'm going to try it here uh there's a bunch of different modes not sure if you can see here but there's a concrete deep what that does is it actually scans up to i think four inches deep four or six inches i can't remember exactly but deep enough that it'll able is gonna it's able to detect the actual rafter uh and draw it on the screen for you uh the thickness of the deck board on the roof is about an inch or so um, so tack on another inch for shingle thickness and whatever else so two to three to six inches is pretty good enough uh, pretty good depth for it to be able to accurately scan and detect rafter so go ahead and scan you gotta go back and forth you see these little lines sometimes it actually finds more than one but if you know approximately where the rafter is gonna go, you can use this tool to get a more accurate reading in the exact spot for where the rafter is. I'm gonna try it again. I usually try it at least two to three times um, and get the most accurate, best result and then mark it and then go from there. So I'll demonstrate one more time. Aha, uh -huh. I think we found it. So as you can see, it draws it for you. And that's exactly where you wanna mark. So I'm gonna go ahead and mark the spot right there in the center, you see? I believe that's exactly where the rafter is gonna go. Lines up with that 12 inches offset from the edge. So that's kind of roughly where I expect it to go. But I'll do it a couple more times. Turn the sound back on. Like I said, there's a bunch of different modes. I like to use the concrete deep and there was another mode called hollow block. I found to work okay uh, on this type of shingle. <clears throat> so I'll try that. See if I get another reading here. Oh, same reading. You see that? So I like to try the two different modes on this tool. Um, and then I actually try it a couple of different spots. Sometimes this tool is a little bit thrown off by the vertical lines and the shingles because there is a little bit of a thickness difference between uh, one part of the shingle to the other. So I like to try it on different spots. So I'm gonna offset things up Go up a little bit higher. I'm gonna do the same thing. I got this cardboard here to make sure that it's level. Try to make a, a level um, surface for <clears throat> this tool has rollers. It's a really nice tool, well worth it for a project like this because it takes the guesswork out of the game and then you get a more accurate reading. And then um, it, it's really helped me minimize the number of incorrect uh, drilling and incorrect frog holes. You don't want to keep doing the trial and error method and have a whole bunch of holes all over your roof. Even though it, the holes are likely going to be under the flashing themselves, but you just don't want to play a guess game with this. So, like I said, I, I had a marking here. I'm going to move it up a little bit. I'll try both modes again. Um, see what I can get here.
right there. See, it's a little bit off, or a little bit different, I should say, from the previous marking. But again, you're getting as close of an approximation to the center of the rafter as you can get. And that's really what you wanna have happen here. <clears throat> that way, like I said, take the guess work out of this game don't guess try to minimize wrong holes and then go from there okay i'll try the concrete deep mode one more time uh-huh got something okay a little bit off um i found that if you actually go a little bit slower you could get more accurate results okay see it says right there <clears throat> right there okay so I think we got it it's roughly in this spot zoom out so there's a rafter right here now I'll probably try one more spot just so we can say, yay, barely we've done our due diligence. I believe this is the best, most accurate spot. So I'll go somewhere in between. Right there. Okay, I think I got it. So. I'm gonna give it a shot. I've got my markings. I'm gonna drill right here. Again, focus is on making sure that those holes go right on that chalk line, all the way across. That way the rails are lined up perfectly and the center line of the flash foot twos are as close to each other as possible. So I'm gonna go grab my drill and put a first hole on this side of the roof and hopefully I hit the rafter right on. Okay, so I wanna make this video as accurate as possible, show um, every step. So I'm gonna keep the video running here while I drill the hole, show you exactly what's going on. Wish me luck. Hopefully I hit this right on. Oh, looks like I missed. It wasn't quite in this spot. But I know I'm pretty close. Now my goal was to not put a whole bunch of wrong holes, but this is pretty close. So I'm gonna go grab my scanner one more time. And figure out where, left or right, do I need to go? Now, I don't believe this is gonna be that far off. <clears throat> Okay, I was pretty close. So, it's right here. <clears throat> Got it. So, it's a little bit off, but that's okay. Um, you want to minimize this. Obviously, I'm showing an example where I did make a mistake. It's going to happen. So I'm going to make sure I get enough roof um, sealant here for this hole. This is going to go under the flash foot too anyway, but I still seal it pretty good. And then um, I'll show you here in a little bit how to actually prepare for the flash foot too to go under the single and also get a good seal. 
um, and then put it in place.